take a look at this problem. I copy down the problem, I copy down the relevant information. The temperature is irrelevant, just K changes with temperature. Um, okay, so we know very little here. I don't know what I started with of anything. Um, I do know these things. I know that I can write a KP expression where KP will equal the partial pressure of CO squared over the partial pressure of CO2. And I know that at equilibrium, notice I omitted carbon because it was a solid. I know that at equilibrium, the partial pressure of CO plus the partial pressure of CO2 is going to equal a total of 4.5. I have here two equations, two unknowns. Anytime I have two equations and two unknowns, it's solvable. Um, I can plug in 1.52 here. That'll equal PCO squared over PCO2. On the right, I still have PCO plus PCO2 equals 4.5. I'm going to solve by substitution. So I'm going to change. Um, this to be PCO2 equals 4.5 minus PCO. And now I can substitute in that. So 1.52 equals PCO squared over 4.5 minus PCO. This is just a math problem from here. I'm gonna, subst I'm gonna rewrite it with X because it's gonna be a lot of writing here and I'll like it a little bit better. So I have 1.52 equals x squared over 4.5 minus x. Um, there's no way to get out of doing the quadratic here. Cross multiplying, 1.52 times the quantity 4.5 minus x equals x squared. I'm gonna distribute 1.52 times 4.5 gives me 6.84 minus 1.52x equals x squared, getting everything all on one side. Zero will equal x squared plus 1.52x minus 6.84. I'm now ready to do the quadratic. Um, 1.52 or negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so solving what's under the radical, 1.52 squared minus four times negative 6.84 times one equals, I get 29.7 and square rooting that, I now have negative 1.52 plus or minus 5.45, the whole thing over two. I'm gonna get two roots here, one's negative, one's positive. That's one of my roots. And my other root is negative 1.52 minus 5.45, whole thing divided by two, negative 3.49. Looking back up, we're gonna see which root makes sense at all. Um, it doesn't make sense for me to have a partial pressure that's negative. So it's gonna have to be that my positive root is the one that makes sense. I set X up to be equal to the partial pressure of carbon monoxide. So partial pressure of carbon monoxide equals 1.96. The partial pressure of CO2 is going to equal 4.5, the total pressure, minus 1.96. 4.5 minus 1.96 gives me 2.54. I have both of my partial pressures at equilibrium. If I want to check to see if they're correct, remember we can always plug back into an equilibrium expression. If I plug them in here and get 1.52 or something reasonably close, I'm happy. So I'm gonna going, I need to scroll back down to grab those values. The partial pressure of CO was 1.96 and CO2 was 2.54. 1.96, 2.54. 
1.96 squared divided by 2.54, I get 1.51 instead of 1.52. I'm pretty happy with those answers. Um, so again, this problem is different than anything you've seen before. It combines bits and pieces of um, different things you do know. Um, if you just start it, it's mathematically harder than anything you'll see on the AP test, but I really like it. It's fun. <laughs>